Hey everybody, I just made a hybrid deck of the deck I posted yesterday with the Warcry. Now I'm using King Bran instead, doing the Queen Sarah style. So let's say I don't get my Champion of Champions in my starting hand. Well then I just use um, King Bran's leader ability and then resurrect it with uh, Siegfrieda or Restore. That gives me three times ways I can hit Champion of Champions. Well, if I do get into my starting hand, then I can just use the Queen's Guards. I can also buff it with Drake Bondu from the Graveyard if I want to do that, though it's absolutely unnecessary with uh, Champion of Champions. I also find that since I'm not running, what do you call it, Axeman, that King Fran's a little better for that. Sure, I don't get as much Warcry value out of King Bran as I do with Croc and Crate, but I don't think it's that bad. So, we're going to do a few matches. Well, let's do a match today since this is just a kind of a short video before I'm ready to do Voris. Oh, this will be annoying. Hello, Pedro. For me! Okay. Well, I have. Champion of Champions in my starting hand, so I don't need to uh, push it out. I only need one Priestess of Freya. I think this is good enough, as is. Okay. We have to assume that my opponent has like a Shiru in their deck. Shiru's just really popular. If not that, Scorch. One of the difficulties of dealing with Scoytel is that you have all these specials you have to deal with. And my opponent's replacing cards, then deciding who goes first. Decide to let me go first, so that probably tells me it's a dwarf deck. My good. So we're going to then do King Bran's leader ability. This will um, allow me to get rid of the Queen's Guard. I don't have to worry about discarding them with Queen uh, Brina Bran. Ooh, I'm tired. Shivering like crazy. Okay. <laughs> of course, friend. I have to be careful. That's probably a fireball trap. With that in mind, I'll have to play around it. It could be a lot of different things. Too fast for you, Dwan. We shall do it my way. Hmm. He probably has Blue Mountain Commandos. So that's why I got the Dimeridium Bomb instead of the cards that proc off Warcry. Anyways, I don't have a card that I can... So if he buffs this once, okay. then all I have to do is this. Any last words? And then, oh, that's actually bad for me because now I'm not getting my uh, guy buffed anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, I can just pass. Or I can uh, lift him up. That's also an option. Any last words? Uh... Let's pass. We already have card advantage. We're not really too worried. We don't know what our opponent has on the board, so. Yeah. 
we don't want to deal with any of the uh, traps, so... Yeah, all those traps would have been difficult to deal with. Okay. So, we're going to hope that we go first, or... Well, no, my opponent has to go first. I'll probably do Drag Bondu. If he plays a face-down trap. Because I don't want my Zigfrida to die. Okay. We're gonna play the Drag Bondu. Glory to you. None shall tread on us. Okay. If he doesn't play another trap, then we will play. Dance of Death! Okay. We know ha! what trap that is. Ha! Okay, we can get rid of that. With this. Keep together! Now we will see who is weak. Okay. Now we can play Zigfrida without worrying. Oh, fucking hell. So annoying. Keep together. You're bad. Okay. That was probably the best thing I could do was replay the archer. It's annoying that I had to do that since it will mess up my battle cry. He's making this difficult for me. What do you need? Plenty. Hey. Uh, lots of traps I'm dealing with right now. I'll feed you to the crows. So he's going to heal up one of his units with that. That's good. Know that he's playing that. Now we will see. We know we've weak. dealt with two fireball traps and two dock blunder. Blana. <laughs> Archers. We want to. If he doesn't play a trap now, play the adrenaline rush because we're not going to have to deal with it later. If I must. Okay. That's a good um, target for Dimeridium Bomb. Too fast for you, Juan. Okay. That should. Uh, Push him out of winning this round. Dance of death! Ha! Ha! There's only one card he can replay. We're gonna pass after this, because there's no I way he can actually fail. catch up. No, I don't think there's a way he can catch up. He would have to get 30 points onto the board. Even a Scorch can't do that. Over with. Yeah, so he scorches my unit. I still win the round. And I have three card advantage. So there's no point in worrying about it. If I get a restore, then I can easily get my full board back. Okay, got my restore. So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna get this into Siegfried. The goddess protect you from all evil. Into Champion of Champions. I didn't get to use Warcry, which was unfortunate. But now Modern I can. Is patient, Normally he would revive no the Queen's insult. Guard, but I feel like reviving the Archer Keep instead. Together. 
Ah, no! He didn't let me do it. Uh... Ah, well. Performance. Yes. I got it. Level up. There you go. So, if I had played the Warcry there, I would have gotten a lot of points on the board. Now, obviously, reviving the Queen's Guard would have gotten me a lot of points as well. But, I, I won against a <laughs> trap deck, and that's all that matters to me. <laughs> now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.